Hey guys, Zeke with Talking Lead. Left hand here. And we're here with Chad Enos from Celtic. Y'all hear oh, us yeah. talking about the KSG all the time, which <clears throat> <clears throat> one day uh, we, we may each have one or something. <clears throat> Maybe matching. Maybe. Matching? Talking lead green. That's cute. Yes. <laughs> no, not matching. But we're not here to talk about the KSG today. We're, yeah. we're here to talk about two new weapons that they have coming out very, very soon. And uh, Chad, let's go ahead and talk about those. Let's do it. All right, Chad. So in the line of new products that you guys have coming out, this is probably one of the most uh, interesting, exciting, exciting, intriguing ones. Uh, mm -hmm. That of course I'm interested in. So tell us about this one. This is the CMR30. It's the big papa to the PMR30, which I'm sure all of you are familiar with. And, uh, it's and got, does it love it when you call it big papa? It does. Okay. It does. <laughs> Uh, it's got a, a collapsible stock, 16-inch barrel. Um, it's completely ambidextrous. It does eject out of the right side of the gun. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you would need to go offhand or for you left-handed shooters, and this is a no, 22, right? No issues. 22 Magnum. 22 correct. Magnum. It takes the exact same magazines as the PMR30. So it's interchangeable with that. It is. Yeah. Now this one is one that has the the rumors have been out there a long time. Yeah, we introduced the gun quite a while ago, but with the whole firearm scare and everything going on there we had to postpone it for a little while yeah so, so i know a lot of people are anxious for this one to to hit the market so. yeah me too so is this yeah. kind of like the real life version of the ghost gun <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is this is a mystery gun right here this is the rumor gun not anymore we'll call it the rumor gun but yeah so soon i know you don't have a release date on it yet right but uh this third quarter so this yeah. year it'll be coming out yeah so and then, so next year yeah. <laughs> but uh, the features that you got on here you've got threaded barrel Correct. So uh, it's going to be suppressor ready. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 16 inch barrel. It's completely legal. It is. Right. And yeah. then you've got the side cocking. Yep. That's a non reciprocating uh, charging handle on both sides. Yep. Like you said. Yep. Uh, Amidextrous. Coll collapsible stock. Amidextrous, as Zeke likes to, Dextrous. Likes Dextrous. to be uh, correct in his enunciations. It's Ambi, bro. <laughs> yes. Dude, so, Dude do so you even Ambi? Yeah not tactical when you say ambidextrous. All right, so quit talking. Let's go shoot this thing. All right. Magnum. All right, let's do it. Chad, something doesn't feel right. Well, you got to, it's a little, you could shoot it like that if you want to, but you can pull the stock out. Oh, just pull it here? Yeah. Bam. Uh oh. Okay. Right. Now do this. Do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twig bang. You see that? It's so quiet. <laughs> it would probably help if I actually charge the firearm and then let go. Okay, now I'll do it. Good shit, Wee. Tex. Bastards won't fall over. They don't fall over, do they? We go all the way out. Reach it. There it is. Now that we've shot the CMR, we're gonna shoot something a little more punchy. That's right. And this is the Caltech RDB, right? Correct. And tell us a little bit about this. It's a 5.56 bullpup platform. Takes the standard AR mags. Okay. So as you'll see, we'll be putting our uh, our Magpul P mags in this thing. Uh, it is fully ambidextrous. It ejects out of the bottom as opposed to the side of the gun. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's the SJC Titan. You'll see what that does. Uh, running the Vortex 1 to 6 uh, HD Razor on here. Um, it's got a 17 and a half inch barrel. You can set it up pretty much like you would any of your black guns if, uh, for all you guys out there that like to compete or run those tactical courses. Kind of like you, know. you do. Yeah. Kind of like Chad's I a do. three gunner. That's, that's your am. personal three gun, right? It is. Yeah, I've been running this. Uh, probably got somewhere between three and four thousand rounds out of it without cleaning it so gotcha still running go ahead you can touch it again i just like tights in the hole nice yeah let's go shoot this one too this also <laughs> has a non-reciprocating charging this handle. one also has a non-reciprocating charging handle Boom. 
He's Boo tall. Booyah. I'm like scared over here. I'm gonna start doing every interview like this. So Perfect. Chad. Yeah, but your head's still huge. My <laughs> thighs are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the big gong. Very nice. Very Coming to a store near you. Mm-hmm. So we just shot the polymer one. Mm-hmm. The little green Hulk looking thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I like this one a little bit better. Do you? Why is that? It's got a little wood on here. A little woody. Or a big woody. <laughs> It's just wood. So you, you think this one's what sexier? Yeah, it's yeah. a little little sexier. You like the walnut? <laughs> it, it, this is walnut wood. It is. I like it. Yeah. Looks really good. We're and gonna do it in five different woods. <laughs> lots of wood is is, is good. <laughs> a lot of wood on this it's good, gun. It's good to have variety in the wood. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is the yep. Uh, M43. Okay. Yep. Uh, That's what it's, I call my wood too. Yeah. The uh, this this is. <laughs> Interchangeable. You can uh, you can interchange the furniture with the polymer version of the gun as well. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So for you guys that like the you know like the steel receiver a little bit better. Yeah. Then uh, there you go. And well, you've got like a third version also, right? We do. Uh, we have a third version of this as well. It's actually got a heat shield on it and two really chunky like old school Soviet looking flip up sights. Um, oh, nice. Kinda, yeah, very very reminiscent of, like World War II. Uh, type rifle so you can expect this one here shortly after the polymer one the polymer one will be out uh, fourth quarter So basically shot show next year will be in full production on it. Okay. And there's gonna be a really old Soviet looking Bulky wood. Yeah, and also a bayonet lug. Okay, and, and everyone knows that Soviet wood is nice Especially with bayonet and lug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Because I have a woody and I'm shooting a woody is not synonymous Ready go for it Going for the big uh, gonger. Oh, dead hit. Nice shot. Right in the head. Look at that. Take a headshot. <laughs> All right. So that is the RDB. Swung low. And the CMR. RDB Woody, CMR RDB Polymer. And CMR 30. Correct. And RDB, this is in 5.56, right? Correct. Are y'all gonna have any other calibers that are gonna come out with it? We are. Nine millimeter conversion, 7.62 by 39, eventually some 308, and 6.5 Grendel. Yes, Grendel. Big but we're gonna come out with the 5.56 first. Well, now you're gonna use that 6.5 Grendel in your three gun, right? I'd like to, absolutely. <laughs> and well, the 308. I'm gonna and have the 9 mil. And the 7.62 I may have to admit maybe, it. Maybe all on the same day, I don't know. Same, same match. We'll mix it up and see how it goes. Create your own three gun. Why not? Hell yeah. They forgot I was here. <laughs> oh, hey. What's up? What do I, you got? I was just going to say, I may have to admit here. that I, I like it better than Tavor. Do you? And I've been a Tavor guy with it when it comes to bull pups, but uh, how do you like the trigger? It's nice. Yeah. I like it a lot. Good. And Which see, my problem has like always better? been, my problem has always been ergonomics with my long arms. This mm -hmm. was fine. Was it? Oh, good. I had a good That's cheek and everything, so. I yeah. like the trigger better on that one. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, you are abnormally large and weird. Yes. Cool. I'm Slightly. glad you like it. Yeah, that's why they call us the redneck pen and teller. <laughs> but, hey. Makes sense. All right, uh, we want to make sure we thank uh, Eric and Chad and Brandy, all the people with Iraq Veteran 8888 for inviting us out for the shoot with Chad. Yeah, the other Chad. The use of yes. the range. Yep. Appreciate and that. And definitely want to thank Chad for letting us shoot these guns. Anytime. And if they want to find out more about Keltec, your social media, where to buy them, all that stuff, where do they Absolutely. go? Absolutely. Keltecweapons.com. <laughs> Somewhere in here. Maybe here. Google. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And we have got Chad Enos here. Is it Enos or Enos? Close enough. Okay. Well, one rhymes with something. Yes, that'll work too. <laughs> <laughs> is it wrong with that? <laughs> A little bit. And and he is Some with. Days. Did you bring like the KSP? Read it. You like the walnut? I do like nut? walnut. Uh, no. <laughs> I could have gone so many places. <laughs> <laughs> get get in your position. Assume the position. 
Stand up straight. <laughs> I'm, gonna shoot I'm like trying this. to get under the muzzle. <laughs>